Is it possible to learn all social taboos? Of course not. So, what should we do to avoid cultural conflicts? If you know social taboos of your clients, your business will be successful. In Singapore, knives, wood sandals, scissors, handkerchiefs, and a clock are not suitable as a gift. Do you know why? Scissors and knives means cutting off friendship. In many cultures, handkerchiefs means sadness, tears. So, those are not good as a gift. In Japan, potted flowers in hospital is a taboo. In France, wine as a gift is not good. In Russia, even numbers of flowers are for a funeral. In Japan, Korea, China, do not cross your legs. In Thailand, Middle East, never point your shoes to another person. East Asia, it is very bad to touch a child's head. In Asia, do not touch somebody's body. Don't chew gums in public in Australia, Germany, Italy, Malaysia. In Singapore, it's illegal to possess chewing gums. Don't point another person in Japan, China, and Korea. It's very rude to yawn in public. Stretching in public is rude. Waving your hands palm down means come. But in America and Germany, it means go away. It means come, but in Japan, it means insult. The meaning of color is different among cultures. In Latin America and Africa, red means sacrifice. In Egypt, yellow means sadness. Purple is associated with funeral in South America. In China, black is a color for young boys. In China, white is a color for a funeral. Well, why do we need to know those things? Why it's important? Can you imagine walking there in all black? Or attending in this funeral in colorful dress? Or attending this funeral without any face paintings? How does your client think about you? This is the standard seating arrangement in Canada. In Japan, clients sit on one side, away from the door. If you sit in a wrong place, how does your client think about you? Dinner meeting is important. You have to be careful of your facial expression. Never frown whatever is in front of you. It's okay to say, I'm allergic to a frog. It's okay. When diffusing food, never show distastefulness. On a business trip, bring a guidebook with you. It's very useful. Don't forget, when in Roma, do as the Romans do. If you remember that, your business trip will be very successful. Know yourself and your enemy. You can win a hundred battles. That is still true. I hope you have thriving business. Thank you for watching.